Have you ever wondered how the largest flying creature known to man, the Quetzalcoatlus, came into existence? In the early 70s, a discovery in the arid plains of Texas revealed the fossils of this magnificent beast. Named Quetzalcoatlus in honor of the Aztec feathered serpent god, this creature was part of the Pterosauria order, a group that encompasses all known species of pterosaurs. These aren't your average prehistoric creatures. They were flying reptiles with wingspans that could reach an astonishing 36 feet. Imagine a creature as tall as a giraffe with the wingspan of a small plane. Now these creatures didn't just appear out of thin air. They evolved during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago, giving rise to a diverse array of species, with Quetzalcoatlus being one of the largest and most awe-inspiring. So, how did this incredible creature evolve? Let's delve into the past to find out. The Quetzalcoatlus, named after the feathered serpent god of ancient Mesoamerican mythology, shares a fascinating evolutionary journey. This majestic creature, a member of the pterosaur family, didn't start out as the enormous, awe-inspiring beast we envision. In fact, its early ancestors were considerably smaller, bearing more resemblance to modern-day birds than to the monstrous Quetzalcoatlus. Over time, however, a series of evolutionary changes began to shape the lineage of these pterosaurs. They began to grow, their bones becoming lighter and more robust, allowing for the development of larger bodies without the burden of increased weight. This lightweight skeleton was a crucial adaptation as it enabled the Quetzalcoatlus to reach the staggering wingspan of a small airplane. But size wasn't the only thing evolving. The Quetzalcoatlus also developed a unique beak, unlike anything seen in its smaller ancestors. This beak, long and pointed, was likely an adaptation for feeding. Some theories suggest that the Quetzalcoatlus used its beak much like a modern-day stork, swooping down to snatch fish and small animals from the water, or perhaps even scavenging carcasses. Then there were the wings. The wing structure of the Quetzalcoatlus is a marvel of natural engineering, designed to carry such a massive creature through the skies. These wings were supported by an incredibly strong fourth finger, which formed the wing's leading edge. This, combined with the lightweight skeleton, allowed the Quetzalcoatlus to take to the skies with ease, soaring over the late Cretaceous landscape in a way that no other creature of its size could. These adaptations didn't just happen overnight. They were the result of millions of years of evolution, shaping the Quetzalcoatlus into the formidable creature we know today. From its humble beginnings, as a small bird-like pterosaur, the Quetzalcoatlus transformed into a true titan of the skies, a testament to the incredible power of evolution and adaptation. The Quetzalcoatlus may have vanished from the face of the earth, but its legacy continues to intrigue us. This enormous creature, a giant of the late Cretaceous period, stands as a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on our planet. The Quetzalcoatlus, with its wingspan that could rival a small airplane, pushes the boundaries of what we imagine possible in the animal kingdom. The study of Quetzalcoatlus is not just about marvelling at its size, however. Its fossils serve as a window into the past, providing us with valuable insights into the world as it was millions of years ago. From these remains, we can learn about the environments these creatures inhabited, the challenges they faced and the strategies they employed to survive and thrive in a world vastly different from our own. The evolutionary journey of Quetzalcoatlus is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life on Earth, pushing the boundaries of what is possible, and even though they no longer grace our skies, they continue to inspire and intrigue us as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our planet's past.